Thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. I'm going to give you a brief overview of fiber. What is fiber? Well, it is a glass wire. It is not like our copper wire that we run. And um, you can see it right there just in the, in the light. It is movable glass. So when we install copper, we're doing a lot of training today. So we have regular Cat 6 and stuff like that. Usually when you have uplinks of farther distances, you will have in your switches a little slot where some people call it a transceiver, some people call it a wick. There's various different names. So you will have an uplink, usually of greater distances of over 300 feet, sometimes shorter, but typically over 300 feet, you wanna connect your end locations with fiber. So inside switches, you need to fire it up. So um this is just what it's going to look like and for people that don't know this is just a regular switch and then they will have a fiber uplink is what basic terminology so let's just real quick take a look at fiber you have generally what we're running at um bridge cable is armor so that's very tough very durable and you can skip the conduit inside there is just going to be your fiber and it has a jacket and it has Kevlar around it. So you will need shears to cut it. So a couple different things. You will need shears. You will need an assortment of cleavers. So once you crack open the fiber and we have various tools of this, it cuts from Klein. And then there's also, I wanted to show you guys if I could find it real quick. Um, ideal makes one um, quite frankly the ideal one feels like it's already broken before you actually bought it so um, some of the old school technicians they will just take their uh, dikes and shears and cut it but you might damage the cable so again you have your cutters right here once you cut right here this is just training you will have an anti-short field once you get through the armor you will just have a regular jacket that protects either six or 12 what they're called strands and inside these guys is just going to be the regular fiber so very thin so once you get to the point where you automatically take these out there's two different kinds of connections you can use a fiber optic splicer or you can use what most of the older guys use is just heads and these are what they call um, there's several different terminologies and stuff like this, but I like the AFL Fast Connects. So, how do you get the fiber on these heads? Well, you can take either just no-name cleavers. Oh, got my club in there. So, these are just all kinds of different cleavers. So, this is like a $25 one. And if I look, I will find... Huh. I misplaced the other one. Huh. Oh, right. So, and then we have different ones. So this one I like, it's just 900 bucks. Basically what you do is you prep the fiber and you can take a look at our different YouTube channels. You'll take it inside. You'll just take these little strands and this one's already cleaved. If you look at there, you can see the glass, but you just take it in there, you set it at a depth, you cut it, you roll it out, and then the trash or the shards go in the collection tray. Now you can see this one's a little bit fancier. This one from overseas, ooch, just a built-in one. So once you do that, you have your fiber ready to be prepped. What do you do with it? You can use the fast connects, which are just boop, and there is a certain strategy or you can use a fusion splicer. Fusion splicer will just automatically take the two wires, mechanically fuse it together, you put them in the tray to cool them down. And for protection, you will have these guys. You will slide it over there once the splice has been done. Various different tools, but I just wanted to guys give you a quick overview of what's going on. Dikes are good to have for cutting this. Shears. Shears are necessary to cut the Kevlar.
Some of the older guys will just use their regular snips, but they will dull down after a while. We will take a look at on our YouTube channel of how to do splices. And basically the colors that we're really focused on these days is, is the multi-mode color, which is aqua, or yellow, which is single mode. Single mode, the transmission goes one way. Multi-mode, it goes back and forth. So just think of single mode as a one-way street, and a multi-mode is just a normal street, back and forth, packets going back and forth. You can take a look at the different things. There are cutters for OSP, but we won't get into that. There is various different patch cables. Um, there's cleaning kits that we'll go over. But just wanted to give you a brief overview. And this is the pretty much what you will see on site. There are LC heads. Now, if you're taking a look at the bottom of your Verizon box at home, you will see SC heads. Google what the heads look like. But this is a typical patch cable, LC heads. That are what is what we are initially installing at Bridge Cable. And I will show you one last thing. Well, I could go on forever. But also when you cleave, and you can take a look at our different YouTube videos, you will take these, the strippers. So there's various different strippers and there's different gauges on these. So when you're doing it initially on these, you will use this for that and take a look at our YouTube channels. But again, I wanted to take a moment and a lot of people will say back and forth, YouTube, this is an awful video. This is an eternal training. Fiber is not that difficult. Now the terminology, the information behind it, the wave packets, the wavelength, DBI, signal loss, that's a whole different ball game. But termination of fiber ain't that deep. Make your connections, cleave them, clean them, not in any particular order, but you just gotta clean them with alcohol. You just wanna make sure your tips are good because the transmission of light is totally what it's all about. Then we actually go, and I could show you real quick. I keep saying that because I'm very excited. Old people, old technicians, they'll use what's called a light test. I was very, very <laughs> amazed at the other day, one of, uh, one of the guys came in here and they said a major facility in Philadelphia they don't even bother to test or certify their fiber. They just do a light source. So yes, you can do a light source. As you can see, she's blinking away. There's different things. So again, this is a under 10 minute video of an intro to fiber. It's easy and it's wonderful. Look at our YouTube channels for in-depth videos of step-by-step.